Hello. All passive circuit elements that we use in circuit design are described mathematically by the relationship between voltage and current at their terminals. Generically, these relationships are called the component voltage current characteristic, the IV relationships, or if they're presented as a plot of voltage versus current, the IV curves. When we mathematically model an electrical circuit to predict its voltages and currents, we use Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law, and the voltage current characteristics for the circuit elements to write the equations which govern the circuit operation. In this project, we'll examine Ohm's law, which is the voltage current characteristic for resistors. We'll also get a feeling for how we can use this voltage current relationship to analyze a very simple circuit. This is the circuit symbol for a resistor. R is the resistance of the resistor. The units of resistance are ohms. They are represented by the Greek letter omega. Now let's define a voltage difference, V of t, across the resistor terminals and a current, I of t, through the resistor. Notice that we've defined voltage and current to be consistent with the passive sign convention. Current is entering the positive voltage terminal. The relationship between voltage and current for a resistor is called Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the voltage across the resistor is equal to the product of the resistance and the current through the resistor. V is equal to R times I. Ohm's law can be rearranged in a couple of common ways. If we divide both sides of the equation by R, we can solve for the current I of T, which is the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance. Likewise, we can divide this equation through by I of t to solve for the resistance, which is the ratio of the voltage across the resistor to the current through the resistor. We'll use this circuit to investigate how to apply Ohm's law in a circuit analysis. We have a 5 volt source connected directly to a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. We want to calculate what the current through the resistor will be. First, let's define the voltage across the resistor. If we take this to be our positive current direction, we have to have positive current entering the positive voltage terminal, so we have to use a polarity that's plus here relative to here. Now, let's apply KVL around this single loop. Starting down here, I have minus 5 volts plus V is equal to 0, so maybe fairly obviously, V is equal to 5 volts. Now we can use Ohm's law and V to find I. So I is equal to V, 5 volts, over the resistance, 2.2 kilo ohms, which is approximately 2.27 milliamps. This is our circuit. Here's our 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Ground is applied here, and we're using V plus on the analog discovery to apply 5 volts. We've placed our ammeter between the source and this terminal of the resistor. We're measuring current here on our DMM. Turning on power, we're actually measuring a current of about 2.26 milliamps, which is extremely close to our prediction of 2.27. Since Ohm's law is so important, I want to do another circuit example. For this example, we'll use a random resistor from our analog parts kit and use the waveform generator to apply a voltage across the resistor. We'll measure the resistor voltage and the current through the resistor and use those measurements to estimate the resistor's resistance. Then we'll compare our estimate with the nominal resistance from the resistor's color bands and the measured resistance using an ohm meter. I'm using the waveform generator as my power supply because I want to apply a couple of different voltages to the resistor and make sure our resistance estimates are consistent regardless of the voltage that we apply. This is our circuit. Our unknown resistor is here. We're using channel one of the analog discovery voltmeter, the two orange wires, to measure the voltage across the resistance. Ground is here. I'm using channel one of the waveform generator, the yellow wire, to apply power to the circuit. The ammeter is connected between our power supply and this terminal of the resistance. Let's now apply power to the circuit, measure the voltages and currents, and infer the resistance from those measurements. We've set up our waveform generator to apply a constant voltage to our circuit. For my first voltage value, I'm going to apply 5 volts to the circuit. I'll click on Run AWG1. And as expected, we get about a 5 volt voltage difference across the resistor. We also get about 1.05 milliamps of current through the resistor. Now let's check another voltage value. I'm going to randomly choose, say, 3 volts. We've got about our 3 volts across the resistor. Our current is now about 0.63 milliamps. 
let's take a look at how these data do as far as predicting a resistance for this resistor. Here's our measured data. Ohm's law says that the voltage across a resistor is equal to the resistance times the current through the resistor. If I want to use this equation to estimate an unknown resistance, I can say that the resistance is the voltage across the resistor divided by the current through the resistor. If I take 5 volts and divide it by 1.05 milliamps, I get 4.76 kiloohms. Likewise, when I apply 3 volts across this and measure 0.63 milliamps, that ratio turns out to be 4.83 kiloohms. Now this degree of variation is kind of expected. Anytime I take a data point, I never get exactly the right number. Let's take a look at this range and now compare it to the nominal resistance for the resistor from the color codes and the measured resistance of the resistor using the ohm meter on our DMM. Our resistor color codes are yellow, violet, red. That corresponds to a nominal 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. When we use our DMM to measure the, resist of the resistance of the resistor, we get 4.69 kilo ohms, extremely close to the nominal value. Now, both our nominal and our measured value with the DMM are slightly lower than what we got with our voltage current data. That's possibly because I was kind of careless about using the actual measured voltage values when I made my calculations.